Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. So this is part two of my um, ornament swap, which was the uh, ornament swap 2022 hosted by The Rose Life. Um, I did part one and my uh, swap partner was Kim from Kim's Inspired Life. She's gonna be linked in the description box. Um, and this is the second box that I told you guys that I knew was in my stash of stuff that I needed to open and I found it. So I want to make this the last video of you seeing me in this pink shirt because I filmed a lot of videos today. But like I said, I put a huge dent in my stuff. A lot of the stuff that I have left is stuff from my birthday challenge from last year. So stay tuned because I'm going to do something um, special for that. And for all the ladies that submitted something, I'm going to do, uh, I'm gonna do a, a special giveaway for this. So stay tuned for that. So again, a lot of the stuff that I have left is from the giveaway, um, which I have a bunch of them still that I need to videotape. And I want to make sure that I... I videotaped them all so I'm thinking because it's so late in the game I'm probably just going to um, do a couple of them in the video and then just link everybody in the box in the description title just so that everybody can see that it's for their entries and I still have the names of everybody that um, I've already done videos for and also I have the names of the ladies that promoted my challenge via other social media so know that I still have all that information here is the package this is so pretty look at how gorgeous she sent this to me isn't that beautiful this reminds me of a care package you know when you're deployed and you get those care packages from people when you're in employment and it's always they're always wrapped on the inside just like this and then you see all the cuteness inside of it like literally this is how you would send a care package to somebody who's deployed so this is so awesome the lord is my strength and my song and he has become my salvation exodus 15 2. told you there's a reason why this held off she sent me this cute little it's like a um she made it like into a postcard uh, oh, thank you so much, uh, Dito. <laughs> oh, Zoe picked out the ballerina. She said you had to have it. Oh, this is so pretty. Always hope because you're not... You never know what tomorrow will bring. This is so true. Read that a couple times, guys. Pause this video and read this a couple times. Just the other day when I was on my way to work, actually it was this week, so my life flashed before my eyes and I was in the wrong set of mind. Just, I tend to think a lot about my dad on my way to work and that day I was driving really fast. And when I get to work, it is pitch black. And I was trying, I was literally wanting to give up on life. And I'm like, you know, just take me, God. Like, I would just want to go with my dad. And I swear if he didn't give me a rude awakening, that, di that day my life flashed before my eyes. A deer came out of nowhere. Like, I mean, it was a huge deer. She came out of nowhere. And I just saw her out of the corner of my eye. And as she was coming towards the front of my car, I went swerved over and I'm like, oh God, the car's on the other side. Well, luckily there was no cars coming. So I went around this deer. I mean, I was probably about 75, 80 miles an hour. And I'm like, Phew. my life just, I thought that was it. I really thought that was the end of Wanda Ortiz. And you know, I felt in my spirit, like God saying, you need to chill. Like you need to calm down. You need to get moving with life. Like, you know, you can't just dwell on the passing of your father. And I just like, I was a toy little soldier. And you know, it's true. Always hope because you never know what tomorrow will bring. Like you, that day I thought I was going to die. And you know, 
we should always remember that we just got to continue to to get up and march you know get up and and show the glory of God regardless of who passed away you know regardless of who is out of our lives regardless of our situations you know he is always stronger than this we think this is stronger which it really is the strongest muscle of your body but prayer faith hope and believe believe is a lot stronger than anything that has to do with this world it really is you know when we fall into depression we don't see it but when you have friends that remind you of these things it comes back to you and you start to realize like man you're right you're right so kim thank you thank you like i said i really feel that there was a reason why these packages are just now getting opened and because now I'm in a better set mind where I can absorb everything that is being presented to me in a whole different perspective, you know, and I got to make a video for you all. And I keep saying that about what God has had me doing for him, even though I've been in, dep in depression and anxiety and stress and everything that has been going on, I've still been performing the work of the Lord and I, I just I have to find the time to talk to you guys about it because it has been probably one of the most amazing journeys um, that I've ever ever gone through in my life has it been hard heck yeah it's been very hard I've lost people in the middle of this I've gained people in the middle of this but overall it's such a fulfilling mission like it just makes me so happy to be a part of something so big to show the glory of God and to show people that there are still people that have compassion love and care for them regardless of what they are who they look what they look like how they act how they talk like how they look who cares who cares who cares about the status quo about you got to be this perfect little model and you got to wear these perfect clothes and you got to eat the right things that is not god that is the world people that is the world okay that's all it is that is not the word of God. God doesn't care what you look like. God doesn't care what you wear. God doesn't care about how you act and how you talk. It's who you are and keeping it real, not trying to be something outside of yourself because that is not of God. We don't seem to understand that. Let me stop because this, um, this coin really, really fired me up into a different dimension that I'll probably keep you guys here forever and and this box is the focus of this video so let me let me just show you a little bit about how my passion is with this mission so when the video comes out you guys will see what it's what it means to me you know this is just a little taste guys so let me go and focus back because I'm looking at something here that I am telling you God is great, Kim. She sent this to me. St. Anthony, pray for us. What? Did I not tell you guys that... I'm just going to leave it at what I just talked about. Just know these, this smile is the passion that I have for that little glimpse that I gave you guys and you guys are seeing this what would make these ladies send me stuff like this like ah oh, God is great okay that's that's all I'm saying Kim thank you thank you thank you you have opened up my eyes of belief because I've been doing this will of God but when you get these signs, you really know that the will of God is, that is the will of God that I've been performing. And he is showing it through the stuff that y'all have been sending me. 
It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Oh my god. So anyways, look at this beautiful little girl. Isn't she pretty? She's so cute. She reminds me of a little eye candy. She's so adorable. I'm going to put her in my baby's tree next year. She is so cute. And look at her dress. Look at the cute little glitter on her dress. She's so cute, Kim. Thank you. And here's another one. And then I love all the little shakers. I'm going to pull those little shakers and I'm going to save them. Oh, this is so cute. It's a fawn. Look at how pretty. I never saw this one. Isn't she cute? Look at that. Oh, this will go in my big tree. Because those are the colors for my big tree. More neutrals on my big tree. I don't know if I show you guys my trees. But I had about six Christmas trees this year. Yeah, I'm crazy. I'm planning on getting one more for next year. But my husband thinks I'm nuts. I love Christmas. And look at this one. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, this is different too. Look at how cute this is. It's big. Wow, I love this. That is so cute. Thank you, Kim. And then I need to show you guys what she did because look at the shaker bits inside of here. I'm going to pick these up and I am going to put them into a little bag because guess what, Miss Kim? I am going to keep these because they're so pretty. I really like the little candy canes inside of there. So, yeah. Thank you, Kim. You, um... This is definitely, uh, it's a sign. I really believe that God uses people in mysterious ways and also to show us that we are fulfilling his mission and it is for him, for his glory. So thank you so much. Thank you. I'm glad I just now opened this box because you gave me a different outlook on some things. And I think that this, this box answered some prayers. Um, it really has so stay tuned guys like I said that was just a glimpse just a glimpse of what's going on in my life and I will elaborate a little bit more when I have some time because this will be a long conversation but in the meantime guys please check Kim from Kim's Inspired Life if you're not already following her don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you on my next video I'm going to go eat some ice cream. Bye.